Charles Margell. And I want to get points in Smith. Not sure if I want to get points in anything else yet. At least in that. But I think I do want to get some Razor Edges. Increased armor penetration is nice. So let's. I always forget where uh, Tinkers go. Increase crit chance, my AC is still on. And yeah, just increase crit chance, increase armor penetration. Oh, mighty girdle. Okay, that's nice. It's a pretty good belt. Armor, knockback immunity. I mean, it's nothing amazing. It's a decent belt. Ow, oh, okay, yeah, I need to get, like, uh... Let's get one point in each of these. I think. Don't care about that. Or that. Or that, since it doesn't even work. Spike attachment, what is that? What is spike attachment? It increases armor, does not increase armor hardiness. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Moss Tread. I looked up what Moss Tread does. It, uh, every time you, once it's active for like the next eight turns at level one, you leave Moss behind you. And, uh, the Moss slows and can pin any enemy that walks on, as well as doing a small amount of damage. Oh, hey, a rain. I'll take it. Don't care how shitty it is, it's a rain. Eight. Four cunning is not bad. Eight defenses and... fight there. What I should have done if I were intelligent should have had that guy come with me. The, uh, the gunslinger. And just wait out there so if I have to run, I can just run away. And no, apparently it's not tied to whether you're melee or ranged. It's just random. Maybe it's a 50-50 chance and the odds of getting three 50-50s going the same way each time is not actually that unlikely. percent one eighth chance. That's not that bad. What okay, what I should do. What I should do is where is it? Oh I got rid of it. Oh I oh no I didn't. Let's use this, buy a new slot. And I'm now getting eight per turn, so So do I get... I can max this out. Which seems pretty nice. All melee damage reduced and evading projectiles. Or I could get something like increased damage. Now let's just put four, four points into that, see how well that works. is a lot of fire damage. He 
blocked my fire damage and my disease damage, okay? Burning, bleeding. Another note that we've already seen. I think I'll probably be wearing that steel arm. I got frozen. Hi, guy. Nice to see you tracked yourself. Like, that's a pretty damn good amount of damage for just a bump into the attack. At level 12. 400 damage. Although that is with saw wheels and everything, but still, that's... That's quite something. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Fuck that. There are like three more up there. No, thank you. No, thank you. Just run away. That's a lot of dudes. Are you burning? Oh, that's awesome. He's even burning, although he's only do burning a little bit. So that even applies to, like, the extra damage from saw wheels. Yeah, that, that fire is pretty nice. Hitched. I don't even know what that means. Hornet Stingers, weren't they for sale? No, it was the Quiver of the Sun that was for sale. Okay. Oh yes, but this armor. Do I want to wear this armor? Eh, I don't think so. I think I like the extra strength that, uh, the bloodletting mail lets me, lets, er, gives me. This game places doors in weird locations sometimes, like, door, one tile away from the other door, and at a corner. I don't even know how you would do that. Put a door at a corner. I, I guess it, I don't know. And same with here. Door leading directly into wall. So you have to, like, go diagonally once you open the door. <laughs> Killed him, even though I couldn't see him. Ow, a North Hills. Oh god, they hurt. Thunderclap coating, that's not very useful. Uh, it's not everything, game. Oh, because it's... This way is blocked by the barricade, and these two paths are blocked by the trees, so you can't actually get to the door without chopping down something. I see. Retaliator. That's a lot of bleeding. That just increases bleed damage, you know? Just bleeding, yeah. Okay. Is there one of these talents that, yeah, do extra damage based on debuffs? Oh, it's actually not debuffs, it's just effects that are not sustains. So could that even be something like, uh, Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but whenever you use a uh, infusion, you get like infusion, like increased cooldowns on all other infusions. Does it even get rid? Does it even like do extra damage based on that? That'd be pretty cool.
What a, what a wonderful paladin, by the way, poisoning us. She's truly a paragon of virtue. <laughs> what a nice guy. Oh, hello, boss. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I just wanna run. What's my move speed? Don't you get slowed if you're stunned? Just don't want to be near that guy. Not, not, not in that position, at least. Oh, he came this way. I'd like to wait for my injectors to cool down fully. Okay, let's go. Don't want to be stunned. And he's done. Which party? This is our land. Ooh, stun stone. Uh, amulet increases steam and needs steam. That's a decent amulet. Increased strength. Cunning. Get some grinding shield, I guess. Still getting a lot of steam each turn. Oh. Getting 3.84, even with the massively draining saw wheels active. Which is nice. I actually have not played, I think I've mentioned this before, I've not made it past like level 20 with a saw butcher. I think I've like done this and the other place. Uh, the Dominion Port, I think is what it's called. And a note from Tantalus about an alliance between the uh, Sunwall and the Steam Giants. And that guy was stupid and had a hard time figuring out how to get to me. Is there scrape in the bottom of the barrel? Barrel after all these years fighting the orcs. Doesn't know what a wall is, can't get to the other side of it until he's pushed along by the archer behind him. <laughs> Explore every last nanometer of the map before starting to open doors because doors are Satan. But also, these are big houses that have nothing in them. Like, not even a wall, no chair, no. I guess, I, I imagine there's chairs and stuff, and tables, beds. But it is weird to see these giant houses that are just. Nothing. No segment, no, like, segmentation for other rooms. I don't think that's the word I want. I don't think segmentation is the right word to use there, but it was the one that came to mind. I, I, I think these are the two places you go to next. I don't think there's, like, any optional areas that you can go to that are easier. Like, that, I think, is, like, minimum level 18. Let's go into the Dominion port for first this time, since the Rich Lair beat the shit out of me last time.
music here is nice. And since we're in an, a sewer, there are alligators. Because, of course, there are. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. No thanks. Okay, now I'm ready to fight you. Troll pirates. Waiting for the bottom recall to cool down because, of course, a chest. Seer serpent. Okay. It's not very great, other than the fact that it's a fucking Voraton mace at level 14. The other, the other effects that it has, not very good, but it is still a Voraton Mace at level 14. That's really not that great. That's actually a less effective weapon than this. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, and these things, these strange conduits, conduits, they're basically chests. Don't want to be stunned. Stop trying to stun me. It's rude. An amulet of mana streaming. That's really disappointing as well. Ooh. I'm confused, and I have no means of actually dealing with confusion. And I'm dead. God damn it. Fuck's sakes. <sighs> and that's what I mean about this place being dangerous. It has really good loot, unlike the Ridge Lair, but it's... The loot's guarded really well. Because I don't actually have the, uh... I cannot make the stuff that deals with... Confusion. Okay, there's one dead. Run away! And nothing of value was gained. Fantastic. But again, you can get nice stuff like that tier 5 Vorton Mace. That's not good at all good for this character. Well, if I get the, uh... Oh, yay. Let's just run away. Fight them one-on-one. -on -one. I forget that I have crazy high move speed. Get confused, because why the fuck not? Can I fight you guys one at a time? Oh yeah, and look what was in that. Three, three quarters of a gold piece. That guy's dead. Obedient, oh, obsidian obeescence. Okay. It's an interesting name. And now we just run away. It's dead. Wow, this this loot is is fantastic. Absolutely great. Nothing better than shitty weapons that this character can't even make good use out of. Or good weapons that this character can't make good use out of. For that matter. And as you can see the the uh the pathfinding does not like does not like uh, the water because you need you can't breathe there normally. Even though you know running out of air, not having enough air for a single turn is not really a problem. Although it does at least g go across it. It's not like nope, not going to do it ever. Just explores every other alternative first. Okay, let's try to not die again. Okay. Buying. Buying. 
stealing things from a necromancer ends up being a bad idea, apparently. Who, who would have thought? up the damn gym. Conduit with, oh, nope. Lots of angry alligators, and I'm paranoid. What is paranoid? Okay, that's, uh, not a, a, a problem. That's actually probably a good thing. Like, I don't have any friends. I'm I'm the only goddamn orc that's remotely competent enough to go out and fuck with the sun wall, apparently. And now you're dead, and you dropped bullets. Wait, they were both cursed? Wow. That's interesting. Oh, a ring that might actually be useful. Yes, that is actually a very nice ring. Wait for the cooldown to cool down before we go after this guy. Great, there goes all my bone. Wow, did I just fucking die again because critical hit? Yes, because double critical hit. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, hey, usually the stuff here is better, but uh, apparently it's, it, it's, it, it's determined to be garbage. Like, look at these. That's just a bad weapon. Useless for this character, useless for this character, useless, useless, useless for this character. And the ones that aren't useless are pretty garbage. And I'd even look at the ones that are useless for this character to see if they were any good. So they could just have been useless for pretty much any character. Why... Was there one of those AAA things that are shops in the sewers? I don't think I've ever seen one of those in the sewers. But either way, it got killed by an alley. Does that increase at all? No. That is a huge difference. Chance to completely negate all damage? Yeah. Is that a strange conduit there? Yes, no, it wasn't. Okay. So are they just on the first level or have they just decided not to spawn on this level? Don't actually remember.
there's one. <sighs> More stuff that's pretty good, just not good for this character. that actually, like, how much bleeding does that do? A lot. My arms have been centered. That's plus two con, I guess. Plus two con. Something I'm probably not even going to unlock, so not very useful. That is also kind of dumb that the game does give you items of mastery, like randomly generated items of mastery, for something that you don't have, you know, unlocked. It's available, but that you don't have unlocked. Because you're probably, you know, you're, you're not necessarily that likely to ever get points in not like the like necklaces of mastery are all that good. They can be. But usually you want something more than just that. Get this guy. From that guy. Gene powder headlamp. What's this? Lightning coil? Don't know what that actually does. Ooh, steam implant of the warrior. Nine point two steam. And hey, look at that, another item that's fucking useless for this character. Yay. That's even a good one. If you use Psy, that's a good one. And that robe is nice. The bow is good if you're an archer. Even if you're not an archer, even if you just use bows, that's still a pretty good bow. And then the game spawns doors like that sometimes. Don't know why. What's inside this room with no door? A, a room that I've honestly never even used. Never used a vision. They just don't seem to be all that worthwhile. This guy's... Not a very good pirate, apparently. He's there, and there, and there, and there. Demoted every single time. <laughs> Saw him to death. These guys are not, well, it's not that they're not a threat, it's that they only get to, like, act two or three times for every one time I get to act. Oh, hey, look at that. Another nice item that's useless for this character. Fucking awesome. Yeah, that's even a nice death, especially if you're like a necromancer or something. Who can benefit from the darkness damage and darkness penetration? Not a bad staff. What's this? Kai's Maul, useless for this character. Ah, how lovely. More stuff that's useless for this character. Just what I wanted.
Continuing the trend. Whoa, lots of dudes. Behemoth hide. Oh, a ring. That might be useful for this character. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my god. Because I don't want to wear, like, light armor, even if it's good light armor like that. Because then that means all of these points in armor training are kind of wasted. Uh, but that that's... That's enough for this. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Hey. I'll hang on to it and think about it. Uh, but that's enough for this video. We'll continue through the Dominion Port and hopefully not die next time.